Hello, I'm Mark Gable, and obviously you know that because it's my uh, YouTube channel. And you know the subscribe thing that people say? If you want to subscribe, yeah. If you don't, I don't care. It's up to you, you know. Like, you just do what you want to do. Now, I wanted to give everybody an idea of how I play guitar, which I call cheating, which is not proper guitar playing. I can play all the chords, but I cheat live and on recording. I find the simplest way to do it. So I'll show you what I mean. For instance, if you play a G chord like that or like that, that's fine. And if you play a C chord like that, that's fine. Or a D chord, that's fine. But this is the way that I do it. G chord, C chord, D chord. Or, if we go G, C, F, or F, this is the way I do it. I know it sounds a little weird, but it does work. I mean, listen to this, you know, you know Green Day. Another turn a fox step in the road. Now, the point being is, that he plays, Billy Joe Armstrong uh, plays very much like I do. So if you want to make it simple, the least amount of finger movements possible. Now, when people play an E chord, they play, if you can see that, like that. And I can play it like that, and I do that so I can suspend the G string. But I also play it like this. So that if I need to do a bar chord, I just move it up. You follow? Now, even with the A chord, the bar chord is like this if you go to a C or a D. But I just go... A cheat, OK? Now, let's go back to the C chord. The normal C chord. Now... If I want to play a D chord from the C chord, people normally go like this, but I don't do that. I go like this. And then an E chord. Follow? I just move it up. I just move the positions up. A chord, B chord, or A chord, B chord. <laughs> so it's not the full chord. I just cheat. Um, I'll give you another example, like you know this song. Malcolm Young. I'm not saying that I play like Malcolm or that I'm as good as Malcolm, but there's a similarity because he and I both came up at the same time, age-wise, in Australia. We didn't have guitar lessons. We had to learn by ourselves, by listening to records and finding the easiest way to do things. Now, these two fingers don't move. It's only these two fingers that do it. And it wouldn't sound right if you tried to play the real chord. doesn't sound right. It sounds right when you cheat because that's real rock and roll. That's the way they probably did it on Beale Street in Memphis when blues and rock and roll first started. So there you go. Um, cheat, right? Now, uh, it, it goes for all the chords. I do it this way. I cheat, you know, like for instance, Boys Will Be Boys, a choir boys song. <laughs> Two notes. While Brett Williams goes, he plays the real thing, I cheat. Um, and the secret to cheating is muting. With both the right, I mean the left and the right hand. So I'm hoping that gives you an idea of how it works. Um, 
uh, and it goes right across the board uh, to that is an E minor except I don't play the G I don't like it A minor I don't play the I don't play the C note in that I leave it out D minor I leave it out so it just makes it easier to play and it actually sounds more authentic muting I know it sounds cool but it's like it takes practice um, and I find it easier than actually trying to play the real thing so that's it except this one this one was not cheating You know, so that was actually all the real chords. Later on the song, that I cheat. I only play in three strings, but I'm actually stroking the whole guitar. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it gives you insight. It's probably, it's the first time I've done anything like this. It's probably very confusing. If you want to ask questions, please do so. Add them down the bottom you know, where people ask questions. And have a good time, and I'll see you next year. Bye now.